Let's face it, a van conversion is essentially a glorified bed on wheels. And the bed is like the center of the van because it's the part of the van that you spend most of your time enjoying. Well, hopefully enjoying it, unless you've designed it badly, too cramped, too awkward, lumpy thing. You know, basically a bed is super important for how much you're gonna enjoy your van life and how comfortable you're gonna be. So here's a film with a bunch more really great bed designs to get your gray matter moving, to get you thinking about how you can design your bed in your van conversion in the way that suits you and your van best. So this is the living room area. Um, it's technically the size of a regular queen size bed. I can fit probably like eight people around this giant table and we can have dinner, we can play cards, we can do whatever in here and not feel like we're cramped or tight for space. Another really great thing about this living room area is this table can drop down into this like walkway space and this can be converted with the cushions on the side into a full queen size bed, which is amazing in itself. Like it's a queen size bed, but also with the bed lift, I can drop that down halfway and have a full queen and then a second full queen. So I have queen size bunk beds for sleepovers. So now that you've seen the living room that converts into a queen size bed, you can check out the upper queen. <laughs> like I said before, this is the switch for the bed lift. This is a um, the happy jack. I'm really, really happy that I went with this because I was worried like I have a cat and a dog and I don't want this magically going up and down and somebody getting turned into a pancake. It can stay up all the way in the top or it can go all the way down here or it can stop in the middle, which is normally where I have it so I don't have to take the table down or anything. You know, just drop it down and go to sleep. It's really, really great that I don't have to assemble or make my bed every day. Really, really, really happy with that layout decision. It's really, really great to have a bed that I don't have to make especially if I wanted to like nap in the middle of the day in between training sessions. I don't need to like disassemble my dining table to make a bed or put sheets on and off. I'm Nate Murphy, author of The Van Conversion Guide, and I just want to let you know that I'm running a free online training which will teach you how to make van life free or profitable. I will show you how to choose a van and build it out and avoid the one big mistake that most people make. I will show you how I made van life completely free and a bunch of other stuff that people don't really talk about. If you'd like to join, click the link here or in the description and I'll see you there. Yeah, so this is my solution to not having a view out the back doors. This right here is my heater outlet. Um, I can change it however I want. It's a two kilowatt Chinese heater. Uh, it works great. I've been at altitude, just need to adjust it a little bit. Um, but that's actually on like a 70-30 splitter. Um, and like 30% gets pumped into this whole cavity as well as my plumbing. Um, I have a 32 gallon over the wheel well water tank in there, um, but the heater keeps everything in here super toasty. Um, I've actually slept in like negative 10 degrees in Vermont on a ski trip and I was like perfectly fine. This is a nice little charging station. Um, it was dead space so I might as well use it. Um, I just have a MacBook, iPad, and some charging outlets, USB-C's, USB's, 110 volt. This is my bed, it's a Murphy bed. It's very easy to set up. I just undo these two latches and then it drops down like that. Yeah, the bed is about a little smaller than a full. Um, and these pieces are from my backrest when the bed is down. That sits in there like that, and then that goes there. And that's pretty much all I have to do to set up my bed. And I take my pillows down, 
And then my blanket's up there, and I'm ready for bed. Yeah, with the bed up, there's a lot of unused space behind there. So I wanted to make this into like a little wardrobe area. Um, this is my hamper, and then this I've yet to figure out what to do with. Um, and then this is where my surfboards go all the way through to the front. Because it's a medium wheelbase van, we have to make it as roomy as possible. So having this open space here, um, we can fit about eight to ten people in here. Um, one of the amazing things about this van is the bed actually goes in three different ways. So this actually all slides forward, so you can have two single beds. And if you pull this section out here, which we'll show in a minute, it does a double bed. And then if you turn the seats facing this way, it's a, it's a, it's a king size. So um, we're really happy with that. And it did take a lot of planning, but uh, it's really worked out in the end. I was really glad. And this is the bed as a double as a double size. I've made the material so that it's softer, so we're not sleeping on the leather. And so when the bed is fully out, we also have this little cabin under here for the dog to sleep. Sky, come. She also has full access to the van. Sky, in the house. Welcome to our living room space. We really wanted a bunch of seating and still a nice comfy bed that we didn't have to fully put, take apart every night and put it back together. So we came up with this idea. So the bed actually slides out to be a longer, almost queen size bed, but we can still fit a good amount of people around here. I think the most we've ever had in this van is about 10, but comfortably you can probably have about six in here. We also have this table here on the lagoon swivel mount so you can sit around the table and have dinner or just work at it. Underneath all of these benches we have some extra storage and then on this side it also houses our hot water tank. I actually whipped out the sewing machine that my parents got me like five years ago for my birthday and figured out how to sew these cushions for all of these around here. Like I was saying, this bed pulls out on slats so right now it's in its shortest form, kind of day, day bed mode. Um, but all you have to do is flip these two cushions down and then you can pull out the bed here and then those two big cushions in the back fit right in here to make the full-size bed. Now that the bed is all pulled out, it's about a queen-size bed in length. And then I'm about 5'3", and I have a ton of clearance up here if I want to sit up in the bed. Matt's about six foot, and he can still sit up also comfortably in the bed. Back here we have some storage where we kind of just throw our laundry down there, and both of the windows for ventilation in the back. And then the max air fan right up here so we can get a cross breeze. And then all throughout this side of the van on the top, we have all the storage for our clothes. We decided to just do it on the one side and not have it on this one just to keep it open and eliminate us hitting our heads too much while we're in bed. We have gone for the fixed double bed at the back. Um, in our original van, you might have seen that we had the fixed single bed um, and the bed at the front turned into a double bed, but every night we had to get all the bedding out and it was just a bit of a faff. So we just kind of promised ourselves after that we would always have a fixed double bed at the back. And we've got this one and we just love it. It's amazing. We've got the storage up here. So there's plenty of room for clothes and things like that. There's also plenty of storage underneath the bed, which we'll show you in a second. And probably one of the best parts of the design, obviously me and John are quite tall, um, and we know that a lot of people who are gonna use this van are quite tall. So we put the recess panels in the side and it just gives you that extra bit of room. Um, so obviously if you're over six foot, you've got plenty of room then to lay across the bed and get a comfy night's sleep. Another improvement we've got is the drawers under the bed. We wanted to maximize this space. In our last van um, to get underneath here, to get to the storage, you would have to take all the cushions off. And again, it was just a bit of a pain to do that. So we decided we wanted drawers. One, you get more in and it means all your things are accessible. So if we just push that and pull it, they come all the way out. Ooh, I'm in the way there. And you can just see there how easy they are to get to. Um, we push them in again, push that button, and it just means they're not going to fly out when you're off driving. As well as the fixed bed at the back, we also wanted to make sure that this sofa area turned into a double bed as well. So if you've got guests and things coming, they've got somewhere to sleep. Um, or you've just got an extra bed if you've got a dog, anything like that. So we just pull this out. 
and it's got these handy little legs that we just pull down again if you saw our first video it was literally like a maze of cushions this one is so simple you literally take that put it there and it's done we've got the roller blinds here really simple design but very effective literally roll them down <laughs> job done So one thing I knew that I wanted in the van was to be able to walk all the way through to the back when the doors are open. So I went ahead with a convertible bed. Obviously it's in bed mode right now. So how I put the bed to couch mode is once the sh all the sheets are off, I the bed is cut into four different pieces. So I split them down the middle and then actually underneath right here in the middle is the table. The table goes on top of this pipe right here and this is my best friend because I use this to lock it into place and then the couches go up and it's all set. So one of the great things of having a convertible bed to couch conversion is I really wanted the space to be able to have people over to eat, to talk, to play games. I just really wanted to have the chance to invite people over to have fun and stuff. So right above me here is the queen sized bed and it's on the Happy Jack bed lift and that conveniently tucks away into the ceiling so at night you don't have to turn your living space into a bed and then redo it in the morning and this is just convenient. So that is a queen size bed, sleeps too. Uh, this bench is another bed, and this bench is a bed. Yeah, so as long as no one is sitting underneath the happy jack, you can drop the bed all the way down so that the mattress sits perfectly flush with the couch backrests. And that turns this queen mattress into a California king, adding a total of 12 inches on each side. And you can take your pillow, throw it into the window frames, and it's actually wider than a California king. Also, when the bed is down and you need ventilation, you can open up both sliding windows. They both have screens, so bugs aren't an issue. And above me is the skylight, and this also has a bug screen and a blackout screen. So if you open that up, turn on your vent fan, you just have a cross breeze going right over you on nice summer nights, and it just feels amazing. Um, when the bed is down, a light switch appears, and that light switch is for the skylight. And it's a pretty bright light, and this is the Max Air skylight and you can actually climb through it. It's one of the two ways to get to my roof. One of my favorite parts of the van is the projector screen. It works in three modes. When the bed is down, uh, when the bed is up, and also for outside on nice summer nights. So let me show you that. And you can take the Nebula projector, put it on a tripod, and lay out a blanket or a bean bag and yeah watch outdoor movies with friends and you can actually flip the projector around and watch it while you're inside so in this van we have our modular bed system We've installed flare space flares that give us about 76 inches wall to wall so we can sleep across this van. The modular bed system is able to be broken down so that you can load something like say a motorcycle or if you're trying to help your friends move, which we always do when we have a big vehicle, you could slide a mattress in here as well. And I'll show you how we do that. We first saw this layout done by an American couple on YouTube. A layout that allows us to have the bench seats in a U form during the day and a table in the middle. And at night, when we go to bed, the table pushes down onto these bars and allows us to have a big bed. We realised that a fixed bed layout wouldn't work for us, partly because we live with two spaniels, as we said, and we travel with them, so it just wouldn't give us the space we needed. We also both work remotely from the van, so having this layout allows us to have seats and a table by day, providing us with a comfy office 
and at night a large bed for us to This is our bed. This is probably my favorite part of the van. <laughs> um, so starting off, we have our lights right here too for easy access when we're in bed. This is the main lights, and then this one is the little reading light right here, which is really sweet that Carter put in because I love to read. Um, and then, yeah, so we chose this type of bed instead of the ones that like turn into a couch because we have a ton of storage underneath here, um, which we can show you later. And then we have bump outs on both sides, similar to the um, kitchenette over here. Um, and it's 6-1 across, so we sleep this way. Okay, so as you can see, I can sit up in it, which is really nice. Um, and it's also a queen-size bed that we trimmed a little bit to fit. The van came with these windows back here, and some people don't like them, but we personally love it because I love waking up, and if we're in a pretty area, it's so nice to be able to look out and see where we are. So, yeah, we really enjoy those windows right there. If you didn't notice, I am offering a free online training which will help teach you how to make van life free or profitable. In this video, I will show you exactly how to buy a van, how to fit it out in a proper way, and teach you how to avoid the mistakes that most people make, and all the other stuff that almost nobody else talks about. If you are thinking about converting a van or living van life, it'll be one of the most valuable things you will ever watch. Just click the link, register for free, and I'll see you there. Another great place to start is to get the van conversion guide. It's packed with useful information and includes 20 video lessons to help you convert a van. Check our website, all the information is there.